Hi, I'm Dana G with The Province. Have you been looking at your garden lately and thinking it could use a little help? Well, if you come down to the Vancouver Convention Centre this Friday through Sunday, you'll get tons of inspiration at the World Rose Festival. Expect to see hundreds of thousands of fantastic blooms filling the whole centre, along with a kid's garden, specialty stands, and you can get up close and personal with some famous rosarians, a.k.a. rose experts. How many roses or variety of roses do you guys uh, grow? Well, we grow in approximately about 300 varieties and we're trialing a bunch of unique ones from the uh, Government of Canada as well as from Weeks Roses in Austin's. And in fact, today, maybe we can go have a look at one that's not even named yet. Well, what the goal is when you always produce a new rose is that it's distinct and has its own personality. Um, disease resistance, appeal, color, so many things come into play and they always start with parents that are worthy. It's, Don't we all? You know, Hopefully. <laughs> there we go, don't we all? Breeders are always after a goal. Austin roses produce their English rose. Weeks roses produce their, I call it a smaller flowered patio type rose. You always hear with roses, there's always seems to be a push to create a new variety, another one. What's that all about? Why are you guys so determined to get more and more? Well, as we learn more about the roses, we almost like down to the genes that are involved, we hopefully can select through a breeding program a rose worthy of inclusion in your garden an improvement plus there's also this always this oh what's new and in front we have Betty Boop which is a bicolor um, flower and some people used to say oh it's not worthy but now the breedings improved the plant to hold that bicolor flower as well who gets to name the roses well that's really interesting is it the breeder yes it is the breeder <laughs> Which is obvious answer, but, but it gets complicated because if I wanted to call a rose, Rosa Brian Adams, I can't. I have to go to Mr. Adams and ask permission or Lady Gaga, let's bring in the new generation. You have to ask permission to use the name. We have the new introduction which is being released here of Rosa Michelle Trudeau in memory of Pierre Elliott Trudeau's son who passed away in an avalanche and that's being used as a fundraiser for the Avalanche Society. The family's behind it. In fact, his aunt and uncle will be here introducing the rose tomorrow or Saturday morning at 11 and then we'll be selling them for $20 each, $10 to the Avalanche Society. Has anybody ever said no to wanting a rose named after them? Yes. Get out. Who would do that? Well, it's not a question of saying no. It comes down to intellectual property. It's back to that. And oh. also, also, no, no, but understand, if you name a rose after somebody famous, right. and it's a dog, <laughs> what happens? When you go over to someone, say this time of year, the roses are coming out for a barbecue, you look around their garden, are you constantly thinking, hmm, I could fix that, they should have this, or... Actually, everybody gets worried about that, and it's lonely not always getting invited out for barbecues. But gardening's an individual thing. It truly is. If you like a neat tidy lawn, great. If you like a foresty sort of meadowy thing, that's your choice.